What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? So in this clip, Old Head says that buying a truck in today's market and coming over to the Landstar is not a good idea. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Buying a truck to come to Landstar is a horrible idea horrible idea. so let me stop right there because it, it was a comment that caught my eye and um i i want to address it right quick now before i address this comment now let me just say that i'm not an owner operator i'm not a lease driver and i don't have plans in the future to become either or all right now, I agree with some of these comments if they said, hey, you know, buying a truck in today's market, it's not a it's not a good idea right now. Not not why things is the way they are. If you're interested in buying a truck, why don't you just hold a while and see if there's going to be a change in the future, which is a very good idea for those that are interested in buying a truck or going lease for that matter. I understand when you jump into this industry, you know, it's all about the money. It's all about the money and how much money that you want to make and how much more money that you want to get. <laughs> so with that said, I mean, if it's a good idea for you, it may not be a good idea for most, though. I'm just saying. But this comment right here says, I've been at Landstar for 16 years. I call you out on the support system. You're lying. They have a great support system. Now, what I want to say about the support system and you being at Landstar for 16 years, well, that's probably might be the reason why their support system is great to you. It might not be great to other people, though, that's, that's, that's working for Landstar or that have worked for Landstar in the previous, their support system works for you. And that's why it's great to you. But you can't turn around and say, hey, Landstar have a great support system to somebody that may not get the same support as you. Think about it. Think about it. That's why, that's why every time somebody give advice or have an opinion, you should always take it with a grain of salt. Because I always say what works for them might not work for you. Their support system is great because they, they probably build their support system. Understand, to build a rapport with a company takes time. And you put in 16 years with the company. Now, somebody that's coming into the company or say like somebody that got like four or five years with the company, that support system might not be all that high. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, let's get back to it. If you've never owned a truck and you're going to buy one and come to Landstar, I highly, highly, highly recommend you don't do that because you don't even know anything about being a truck owner. And now you're going to come here and be a truck owner and also be at Landstar with no support system. And that's why Exactly. Exactly. See, with all these, you know, mega carriers that's over here gaslighting you about, hey, get a truck right now. Then the only thing about getting the truck is, is that you can get your, you can choose your own lows and take your own time off. But they're not telling you or explaining to you or even helping you to understand the industry. Understand the business or oh, they'll turn around and be like, oh, well, yeah, we'll just give you the fuel surcharge and, and stuff like that. And we'll help you get your LLC and stuff like that. But they're not helping you to run the truck, run the business, understand the business. There's a lot of stuff being an owner operator. They're not, uh, they're not explaining to you what happens if the truck broke down or break down your maintenance agreement. You got to find all that stuff out on your own. And if the company is not giving you that support, then you're going to fail. Period. Now, there, now, don't get me wrong. There are, there are stronger drivers that has, you know, that, that has successes 
in being an owner operator. It's always trial and error. You're not going to you're not going to learn everything overnight. Rome was not built in a day. But I agree what this man says because if you go to a trucking company, you buy your truck without without no knowledge at all and you go over to Landstar thinking that Landstar is going to give you the support that you need then he's saying you're sorely mistaken. Let's get back at it. By 40% of the people who come here fail the first year. Buying a truck to come to Landstar is a horrible idea. Horrible idea. If you've never. So at the end of the video, he says, and the statistics may be a little bit more higher, but he says 40% 40 of the people in the first year of owning a truck. Now he says owning a truck. He did not necessarily mention anything about, you know, lease drivers, but I, I think, I, I think the same information will goes for them as well. But he said 40% of the people in the first year fail at being an owner operator. They be in the hole, they be in the dirt, they be in the red. And then they have to turn back around and go with a company and become a company driver to start all over. Now, if your aspirations and goals in trucking, you know, you want to be a truck driver, you want to elevate from that from being a truck driver to a truck owner, you want to elevate from that from being a truck owner to a fleet owner, it's going to take some trial, it's going to take some error, and it's going to take a whole lot of time because not only that with that time you're going to have to you're going to have to sit down and understand what this trucking is all about understand how much you need to run your truck understand how much you're willing to take understand that you're going to get in some areas that's not going to be profitable. Understand that you're going to get a profitable load and then get into an area that you're going to need to get out of and you're going to have to take a non-profitable load. Understand that when you take time off, depending on how long you take, that if you have, if you're making a payment on a truck, now I'm not talking about you drivers that owns the truck. If you own the truck, then that's cool. But I'm talking about lease drivers and, and, and owner operators that still paying for the truck now. That's what I'm talking about. Paying for the truck now. Listen, hear me out. Paying for the truck. <laughs> okay? I'm just saying. You're the ones that when you take that time off, you're going to be stuck. You got to you got you got to understand how much time that you need to take off versus uh how much you how much you're going to need to save when you do take that time off. When you take that time off, you're going to you're going to be like, "Okay, so when I come back, I'm going to need something so I won't be in the red." Or yeah, in the red, in the black, yeah, red, black. But understand what I'm telling you. Okay? Now, I'm not an owner-operator, and maybe I'm the wrong person to be giving advice, or maybe I might be the wrong person to give information. But what I'm doing is sharing the same knowledge that I come across with you guys because I'm learning every day. Even though I'm not interested, but the information that I gather and I share with you, you might be. All right. Yo, reach out to me anytime you want to talk, chat it up or anything like that. I am open. You know what I'm saying? You can come on the show, share your share your thoughts, share your experiences and everything. And if you're a Landstar driver, do you guys agree with agree with him? What's your thoughts on on what he had to say in the comments? Leave it in the comments below. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me all night? Yeah, take me down.
you, Mr. Cream. 